ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू टूडेज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन चरितमृत मध्य लीला चैप्टर एट वील बी स्टार्टिंग टूडे टॉक्स बिटवीन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड रामानंद राय हुकम करो कि वाचलम पंगुम लंगाई ते गिरिम यत कृपा तमहम वंदे श्री गुरुम लीम तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरिओम दास The summary of the eighth chapter is given by Shila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his Amrit Pravah Bhashya after visiting the temple of Jiyar Nrsimha Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the banks of the river Godavari to a place known as Vidyanagar When Shila Ramanand Rai went there to take his bath they met after introducing himself Shri Ramanand Rai requested Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to remain in the village for some days honoring his request chaitanya mahaprabhu stayed there in the home of some vedic brahmans in the evening shila ramanand rai used to come to see shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ramanand rai who was clothed in ordinary dress offered the lord respectful obeisances shri chaitanya mahaprabhu questioned him on the object and process of worship and also asked him to recite verses from the vedic literature first of all shri ramanand rai enunciated the system of the varnashram institution he recited various verses about karmarpana stating that everything should be dedicated to the lord he then spoke of detached action knowledge mixed with devotional service and finally the spontaneous loving service of the lord after hearing shila ramanand rai recite some verses shri chaitanya mahaprabhu accepted the principle of pure devotional service devoid of all kinds of speculation after this shri chaitanya mahaprabhu asked ramanand rai to explain the higher platform of devotional service Then Sri La Ramanand Rai explained unalloyed devotional service, love of Godhead, and serving the Lord in the moods of pure servitude, fraternity, and parental love. Finally, he spoke of serving the Lord in conjugal love. He then spoke of how conjugal love can be developed in various ways. This conjugal love contains attains its highest perfection in Sri Mati Radha Rani's love for Krishna. He next described the position of Shrimati Radha Rani and the transcendental mellows of love of God. Shri La Ramanand Rai then recited a verse of his own concerning the platform of ecstatic vision, technically called Prem Vilas Vivarta. Shri La Ramanand Rai also explained that all stages of conjugal love can be attained through the mercy of the residents of Vrindavan, especially by the mercy of the gopis. all these subject matters were thus vividly described gradually ramanand rai could understand the position of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and when shri chaitanya mahaprabhu exhibited his real form ramanand rai fell unconscious after some days shri chaitanya mahaprabhu asked ramanand rai to retire from government service and come to jagannath puri These descriptions of the meetings between Ramanand Rai and Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are taken from the notebook of Swarup Damodar Goswami. So text number 1 Sancharya Rama Bheda Bheda Bhakt Meghe Sva Bhakti Siddhant चायामृतानी गौराब्धीर एतेर अमुना वितरनैस्तज ज्ञात्वा रत्नालयताम प्रयाति श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु इज नोन एज गौरंगा इज द ओशन ऑफ ऑल कंक्लूसिव नॉलेज इन डिवोशनल सर्विस ही एम्पावर्ड श्री रामानंद राय हु मे बी लाइक एन टू अ क्लाउड ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस This cloud was filled with the water of all the conclusive purports of devotional service and was empowered by the ocean to spread this water over the sea of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. 
Thus the ocean of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became filled with the jewels of the knowledge of pure devotional service. Verse number 2 Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jai Dvaita Chandra Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrinda All glories to Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu All glories to Lord Nityananda All glories to Advaita Acharya And all glories to all the devotees of Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Text 3 Purvarite Prabhu Aage Gamana Karila Jiyar Nisimha Kshetre Keta Dine Gela According to his previous program, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went forward on his tour and after some days arrived at the place of pilgrimage known as Jiyar Nrsimha. Purport, the Jiyar Nrsimha temple is situated on the top of a hill about five miles away from Vishakhapatnam. There is a railway station on the South Indian railway station railway known as Simhachal. The temple known as Simhachal is the best temple in the vicinity of Vishakhapatnam. This temple is very affluent and is a typical example of the architecture of the area. On one stone tablet, it is mentioned that formerly a queen covered the deity with the gold plate. This is mentioned in the Vishakhapatnam Gazetteer. Gazetteer. About the temple, there are residential quarters for the priests and devotees. Indeed, at the present moment, there are many residential quarters to accommodate visiting devotees, the original deity is situated within the depths of the temple. But there is another deity, a duplicate known as Vijay Murti. This, is, this smaller deity can be moved from the temple and taken on public processions. Priests who generally belong to the Ramanuja Sampradaya are in charge of the deity worship. Verse 4. Nirsimha Dekhiya Kaila Dandavat Pranati Prema Veshe Kaila Bahu Nritya Gita Stuti Upon seeing the deity of Lord Nirsimha in the temple, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered his respectful obeisances by falling flat. Then in ecstatic love he performed various dances, chanted and offered prayers. Verse 5 Sri Nirsimha Jai Nirsimha Jai Jai Nirsimha Prala Desha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringa all glories to Nisimha Dev, all glories to Nisimha Dev, who is the Lord of Prahlad Maharaj and like a honeybee is always engaged in beholding the lotus-like face of the goddess of fortune. Purport this, the goddess of fortune is always embraced by Lord Nisimha Dev. This is mentioned in the commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam written by the great commentator Srila Sridhar Swami. The following verse was composed by Sridhar Swami in his commentary on the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam 10.87.1 Vaga Isha Yasya Vadane Lakshmir Yasya Chavakshasi Yas Yaste Ridaye Samvittam Nrsimham Aham Bhaje Lord Nrsimhadev is always assisted by Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and he is always embracing the goddess of fortune to his chest. The Lord is always complete in knowledge Within himself, let us offer obeisances unto Nrsimha Dev. Similarly, in his commentary on the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam 1.1.1, Sridhar Swami describes Lord Nrsimha Dev in this way, Prahlad Vidya Ahladam Bhakta Vidya Vidaranam Sharad Indu Ruchim Vande Parindra Madanam Harim let me offer my obeisances unto Lord Nrsimha Dev, who is always enlightening Prahlad Maharaj within his heart and who always kills the nations that attacks the devotees. His mercy is distributed like moonshine and his face is like that of a lion. Let me offer my obeisances unto him again and again. Verse number 6. Ugro Api Anugra Evayam Swabhaktanam Nri Keshari Kesharib Swapotanam Anesh Aneyesham Ugra Vikramaha Although very ferocious, the lioness is very kind to her cub. Similarly, although very ferocious to non-devotees like Hiranyaka Shipu, 
Lord Narasimha Dev is very, very soft and kind to devotees like the Lord Maharaj Purport. This verse was composed by Sridhar Swami in his commentary on the 7th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam 7.9.1. Verse 7, E Mata Dana Shloka Padi Stuti Kaila Narasimha Sevak Mala Prasad Ani Dila. In this way, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recited different verses from the Shastra, the priest of Lord Narasimha Dev then brought garlands and the remnants of the Lord's food and offered them to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Verse 8 Purvavat Kona Vipre Kaila Nimantrana Sai Ratri Tahan Rahi Rahi Karila Gaman As usual, a Brahman offered Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu an invitation. The Lord passed the night in the temple and then commenced his tour again. Verse 9 Prabhate Uthiya Prabhu Chalila Prema Veshe Dik Vidik Nahi Gyan Ratri Divase. The next morning, in the great ecstasy of love, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started his, on his tour with no knowledge of the proper direction and he continued the whole day and night. Verse 10 Puruvat Vaishnav Kari Sarva Loka Gane Godavari Tire Prabhu Aila Keta Dine. As previously, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu converted to Vaishnavism. Many people he met on the road. After some days, the Lord reached the banks of the river Godavari. Verse 11. Godavari dekhi haila yamuna smarana, tire vana dekhi smriti haila vrindavana. Then he saw, when he saw the river Godavari, the Lord remembered the river Yamuna. And when he saw the forest on the banks of the river, he remembered Sri Vrindavan Dham. Verse 12. Sai vane keta kshana kari nritya gaan godavari par hena tahan kaila snan. After performing his usual chanting and dancing for some time in his, this forest, the Lord crossed the river and took his bath on the other bank. Verse 13. Ghat chadi keta dure jealous sannidhane vasi. Prabhu Kare Krishna Nam Sankirtane. After bathing in the river, the Lord walked a little distance from the bathing place and engaged in chanting the holy name of Krishna. Verse 14. Hena Kale Dolaya Chari Ramananda Rai Snana Karibare Aila Bajana Bajai. At that time, accompanied by the sounds of music, Ramananda Rai came there on a palanquin to take his bath. Verse 15. Tandra Sange Bahu Aila Vedika Ramana Vidhi Mate Kaila Tenho Snanadi Tarpana. After Brahmans, many Brahmans following the Vedic principles accompanied Ramana and the Rai. According to the Vedic rituals, Ramana and the Rai took his bath and offered oblations to his forefathers. Verse 16 Prabhu Tandre Dekhi Janila E Rama Rai Tanhare Milite Prabhura Mana Uti Bhai. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could understand that a person who had come to bathe in the river was Ramananda Rai. The Lord wanted so much to meet him that his mind immediately began running after him. Verse 17 Tathapi Dhariya Dhari Prabhu Rahila Vasiya Ramananda Aila Apurva Sanyasi Dekhiya. Although Sri Ram Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was running after him mentally, he patiently remained sitting. Ramananda Rai, seeing the wonderful sannyasi, then came to see him. Verse 18 Surya Shatar Sama Kanti Aruna Vasana Subalita Prakanda Deha Kamala Lochana. Sri Ramananda Rai then saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be as brilliant as a hundred suns. The Lord was covered by a saffron garment. He was huge, large in body, and very strongly built. And his eyes were like lotus petals. Verse 19. Dekhiya Tanhara Mane Haila Chamatkar Asiya Karila Dandavat Namaskar. When Ramananda Rai saw the wonderful sannyasi, he was struck with wonder. He went to him and immediately offered his respectful obeisances, following, falling flat like a rod. Verse 20. Uti Prabhu Kahe Utha Kaha Krishna Krishna Tari Alingite Prabhura. Ridai Satrishna. The Lord stood up and asked Ramananda Rai to arise and chant the holy name of Krishna. Indeed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very eager to embrace him. Verse 21. 
तथापि पूछिला तुम्हें राम राय रामानंद तेनों कहे से हेना दास शूद्र मंद Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then inquired whether he was Ramandara and replied, Yes, I am your very slow servant I and I belong to the Shudra community. Verse 22. Tabe tare kaila prabhu dridh alingana prema veshe prabhu dhritya dunhe achetana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then embraced Ramanandara very firmly. Indeed, both the master and the servant almost lost consciousness due to ecstatic love. Verse 23, Swabhavik Prem Dunhar Uday Karela Dunha Alingiya Dunhe Bhumite Parila The natural love for each other was awakened in them both and they embraced and fell to the ground. Purpur Srila Ramananda Rai was an incarnation of the Gopi Vishakha. Since Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Lord Krishna himself, there was naturally an awakening of love between Vishakha and Krishna. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the combination of Srimati Radharani and Krishna and the Gopi Vishakha is a principal Gopi assisting Srimati Radharani. <coughs> Thus the natural love between Ramananda Rai and Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu awakened and they embraced. Verse 24 Stamba Sveda Ashru Kampa Pulaka Vaivaranya Dunhara Mukhete Shuni Gadgada Krishna Varana when they embraced each other, ecstatic symptoms, paralysis, perspiration, tears, shivering, paleness and standing above the bodily hairs appeared. The word Krishna came from their mouths falteringly. falteringly. So we'll continue our reading next time. Thank you for joining. Hari Tatsat. Hare Krishna.